Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us um, this afternoon or whenever you're watching this recording. Um, my name is Melissa Hagerstrom. I am the Associate Director of Undergraduate Recruitment for the Bouvet College of Health Sciences. And we're here today to give you some information about our bachelor's degree in nursing. Um, it's a really wonderful program. Um, it's really um, just a, such a strong program. Students are really passionate about um, this major here at Northeastern. So you'll definitely get a chance to hear that from our students. Um, we're really excited to answer any of the questions that you might have. I know um, people who are um, attending this right now, you're probably looking at lots of nursing programs. Um, so definitely feel free to ask any questions that you have in the chat um, and we'll try to get to everyone that we can. I'm also putting in a link to our undergraduate curriculum book in here. This is um, some, a nice resource to look at. Um, it lays out the um, years in the program and where classes are, where co-op is. So this might be a nice um, piece of information to reference throughout the session or later, um, because you'll definitely be hearing about our students' experience in class and co-op and our schedule at Northeastern tends to be a little bit different than some other um, schools you might be looking at. So this is a nice handy piece of reference for you. I'm also gonna put my um, email address in the chat. So if any questions come up later, definitely don't hesitate to reach out. I'm really available and able to answer any of your questions. And I know as the search process goes on, different questions do come up. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, so I'm joined with um, a staff member from co-op and three students. I'm gonna introduce the students to share a little bit about their background and experiences. And then we'll talk a lot about co-op and then answer any questions you have. So as things that come up, please just um, put them in the Q&A section. So, um, Kelsey, I'm going to start with you if you can introduce yourself. Yeah, uh, my name is Kelsey. I'm a third year nursing student with a double minor in nutrition and wellness. I am currently on my first co-op at Boston Children's on their hematology and oncology unit um, on campus. I am in Alpha Chi Omega, which is my sorority. I participate in Bouvet Ambassadors, which is how I'm here today talking to, with you all. I'm also a Bouvet Fellow, um, which is like a first year uh, nursing student mentorship um, where I go and help teach the intro to nursing class. I do um, NU Share, which is like a sexual health club. And I feel like I'm involved in a lot of different things on campus, um, but yeah. Great, thank you so much. I'd say that's a theme with Northeastern students. You're very involved, especially nursing. We're all very involved and active. That's great. Um, Audrey, if you can go next. Hi, I'm Audrey. Um, I'm a fourth year nursing student and I've done two co-ops, one at Beth Israel in post-surgical and one at Boston Children's in bone marrow transplant. And I'm involved in Greek life also. I'm in um, Sigma Delta Ta, a sorority. And then I'm um, obviously in Bouvet Ambassadors, like Kelsey mentioned. And I am in the nursing society here. Um, yeah. Great. Thank you so much. Olivia. Hi, I'm Olivia. I'm also a third year nursing student. Um, I have a minor in behavioral neuroscience, and I have done one co-op in the cardiac surgical ICU at um, MGH, and on campus, I'm involved in Bouvet Ambassadors. Um, I'm also a Bouvet Fellow, which is the first year um, mentorship program for first year nursing students. Um, I'm also involved in sorority and fraternity life at Northeastern in Delta Zeta, and um, Oh, I recently joined the knitting club. So something a little different than, yeah, I know they have one of those. That's great. Yeah, it's always nice to hear what, what other clubs and organizations outside of um, Bouvet or nursing that students are involved in. But probably very uh, good for stress relief. <laughs> great. And then I'm also really pleased to be joined with um, Jackie Biani, who is our senior cooperative education coordinator um, within the School of Nursing. Um, one of the most unique aspects of the nursing program in Northeastern is our co-op program. Um, you're not gonna be able to find another program like this anywhere else. So I'm gonna have Jackie talk a little bit about what the co-op experience is um, and what students can expect from, from that when they're here. Great, hi everybody. Thank you, Melissa. It's great to be here today and 
with these three outstanding nursing students that I've had the pleasure of working with. Um, so as Melissa said, my role um, with my colleague, Mary Carney, is to coordinate the co-op portion of the nursing co-op program for undergraduates. So we're really a li liaison between all the nursing students at Northeastern and the employers who want to hire our nursing students. So as you've heard, you know, Massachusetts General Hospital, Beth Israel Deaconess, Boston Children's Hospital. Co-op, I know it's a little confusing to understand the difference between co-op and clinical sometimes, but what co-op is, is work experience, paid full-time work experience for six months. Students generally don't take courses during co-op. You can, you can take an elective or a course, but it's full-time work. Um, and so it's a pretty full schedule. Um, but as I said, there is an option to take a course during co-op. Um, students in nursing have the opportunity to work in healthcare. So they're working directly with patients, um, pr you know, practicing their clinical skills, you know, improving their communication skills with patients and other members of the healthcare team, nurses, physical therapists, doctors, um, many more health professions. So it's great opportunity to work in healthcare, um, the role that co-op students fill is typically a patient care assistant, um, but you're working with nurses every day as these two students can tell you about. Um, it's a great opportunity to see work in environments to see if it's something you might wanna do when you graduate. So as Kelsey was saying, working in pediatrics oncology, at the end of six months, she'll have an idea if this is something that is well suited for her or not. So it's a great opportunity for career exploration. Um, the other thing is networking. So when you leave a co-op, you've got nurse managers, nurses, you know, people that can provide references for you. Many times um, students are offered full-time jobs when they graduate from their co-op experiences. And the last thing I say, I'll say because I know we'll have questions and I want to answer your specific questions is um, you're not the whole throughout the whole process, um, you're supported by myself and my colleagues. So um, we work with students um, to view the job postings. We help prepare you um, to, do, to create a resume that will make you attractive for this application process. We'll prepare you for interviews. Um, you know, how to decide what jobs to apply for. And then we're available during co-op. So if students are having some difficulty, they'll reach out to us. So it's a very supportive process um, at Northeastern. And um, I think it's a great program. So I hope you'll consider it. Perfect. Thank you so much. Welcome. Um, so questions are starting to come in. Um, this is a great question that we don't actually get asked that often, but I do like to talk about it. Are there research-based co-ops for students in nursing? Are there research opportunities? That is a great question. Um, so not many, um, but I will preface it by saying part of that is because um, the, what the biggest request from students is direct patient care. And so that's where most of the jobs are. When we have a student that expresses, like we have a great relationship at Beth Israel in infection control, that's a research co-op. Um, we, we don't have a lot of them, but when a student wants to do something like that, I would meet with them individually. You know, we think about options. I would also connect with my colleagues, for example, in health sciences, um, you know, because they will have probably more research opportunities than we would nursing. So we would work with students to do our best to find an opportunity for them. And then I'd also just like to add that um, you can have different types of opportunities outside of co-op as well. So if you're interested in participating in research as a student in nursing, that could be something that you could participate in outside of co-op. There's a lot of research that's happening at Northeastern. Um, so if that's something you're interested in doing, you could do it. Um, 
just as a, as a student, as part of your, um, your free time, um, or potentially as a, a part-time job and things like that. Um, there's a great question about uh, if co-ops are only available in Boston or can students participate them in, in them elsewhere? <laughs> so again, the majority are in Boston. And again, this is student driven. You know, most of the students remain in the Boston area. They may live on campus, off campus. So in the great news is in Boston, you know, the medical centers are outstanding. So we're extremely fortunate. We do have um, partnerships um, in some other cities like Denver, Chicago. We have three students on co-op right now in New York City. Um, and we do have some relationships that haven't been active recently. And again, I'll go back to the model that we use. We meet individually with students, find out where they wanna go, what they wanna do and do our best to support you. Because it's an employment situation, you know, I can't guarantee Olivia that, um, you know, she can get a job in Jacksonville, Florida. I mean, we'd have to work on it. Um, you know, and the employer would need to have a need, um, but we do our best to meet those requests by students. Um, so speaking of um, different locations that students could be in, um, I wanted to talk a little bit briefly about NUN. That's something we forgot to mention that some of the students had participated in in the beginning. Um, Olivia, do you mind talking a little bit about your NUN experience? That's another really unique aspect of the nursing experience at Northeastern is the ability to have an abroad experience. Um, most nursing programs, there's so many classes that you need to be taking in a certain sequence that it can be really challenging, right, to leave your campus and have that abroad experience you're looking for. So there, there's a lot of different ways that we incorporate that into Northeastern. Um, we can talk about other opportunities if you're interested, but the biggest one I'd say is probably NUN. So Olivia, if you can talk a little bit about that, that'd be great. Yeah, of course. So um, I've known that I wanted to go to nursing school for a while, and that was kind of something that I decided pretty early in my high school career. And with that, I kind of made peace with the fact that I wouldn't be able to study abroad, or so I thought until I got into the NUN program, which is a first year um, or first year, first semester of your first year study abroad experience where you spend that first semester um, at one of the, I believe there's nine locations. Um, or this year, I yeah, think there's three class. for two or three for nursing students. That, right, right. So um, I believe that it's Greece and Ireland um, are the two that are available for nursing, but I know that that does fluctuate. Like I know Australia has offered it. Um, but so I went to Greece for my first semester and I spent uh, four months there taking, like I was a normal student in classes at the American College of Thessaloniki in Thessaloniki, Greece. Um, so I was taking the same classes that, or same classes for the most part that um, other first year Northeastern students were taking here in Boston, but I was just abroad. Um, it was kind of a really great way to be able to not only be, like go to nursing school, but also have that study abroad experience that I didn't think I'd be able to have because, you know, usually people go um, abroad in their like, junior year and that's when we have clinical. So I didn't, so it was nice to be able to kind of have, like, I guess like kind of have both of those experiences and it ended up being one of the best experiences of my college um, career so far. I mean, like the best friends, I, the, like the school was amazing. The city was amazing. I learned so much about not only academically, but also just kind of about how to, be, I guess I developed skills that I'm going to use for the rest of my life, also in nursing, but also just kind of as a person. So it was really one of the best experiences. I could not recommend it anymore. That's so great. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. And there's also new um, that you guys wouldn't have been able to participate in. They have a second semester, first year abroad program. Um, I know that you can do clinical co-op. Uh, sorry, you can do a uh, abroad co-ops um, and their short-term trips during the summertime you can do too. So if you do have questions about going abroad as a nursing student, definitely um, feel free to reach out to me by email. Um, I want, there are some questions in here about um, scheduling and how co-ops work and over the summertime. Audrey, since you are from a little further um, out, you're not from Massachusetts, can you talk a little bit about the schedule and how that works and how you felt 
about the schedule, not necessarily having like that dedicated three months time in the summer to go home. Yeah, definitely. So um, there are two, you can either do a fall co-op or you can be on the spring co-op cycle. Um, and co-ops are always six months for the most part. So it'll either be um, January until June or July to um, the end of December. And I personally did the spring co-op cycle, but I think um, either one, like depending on what you prefer, um, is great. And I'm from like Pennsylvania, so it's pretty far from Massachusetts. And at first I was a little nervous about not having time to go home. But the one thing um, that's really nice about nursing co-ops is usually you're not working five days a week. Um, at least for me, I worked three 12s, so three 12 hour shifts a week. And the schedule is a little more flexible than a lot of jobs. So I was able to like have a nice six day break in my schedule that I was able to travel home and do that a couple of times. So it's definitely, um, even though you don't get your full three month summer, I still found that I was able to go home like as often as I wanted and you can definitely make it work. So I think, um, there are a lot of ways to still be able to get home if you're not from close to Massachusetts. Great, thank you. Um, yeah, I think the, the schedule always kind of throws everybody off. So I really encourage everyone to check out that link I dropped in um, for the curriculum book. Um, so you can see where co-op and classes are, are laid out. Um, Kelsey, you're on co-op right now, actually. Can you talk a little bit about what does that feel like to be not in classes as a college student? Do you still feel connected to campus? Do you still see your friends? How does that work um, for you? Yeah, um, I would say it's definitely uh, what you make of it. If you wanna be involved on campus, you totally can be. Again, like I said, um, I'm involved in sorority life and right now we have recruitment. So I feel like I'm heavily involved <laughs> on campus and I, I see people way too much right now. Um, but again, you can work more if you want. Um, I feel like I'm at Boston Children's, so I work three um, 12 hour shifts a week. I can take on more shifts if I want. Um, again, I can rearrange my schedule. Um, so again, it, it's really what you make of it. Um, I think I see my friends a good amount. I'm on campus a couple times a week, um, but yeah. Thank you. Um, Olivia, there are some questions in here about um, minors. Can you talk a little bit about, um, is it easy to do a minor as a nursing student? How did you decide to, you said neuroscience? Yeah, behavior, behavioral neuroscience. Very cool. Can you talk a little bit about how you, how you landed in there and how that works? Yeah, of course. So this is actually um, a little bit of a new development. Um, I recently declared it like a couple of weeks ago and I've kind of, I've changed around a little bit, but I think this is, this is where we're gonna, this is my final, final answer, BNS. Um, but I started as a nutrition minor after taking my first year nutrition course. Um, and I really liked it, but um, the, just the courses that I think I liked what I took and I, then I realized that I didn't, I was, I was happy with what I took and I maybe wanted to spend my electives on a different topic. Um, there are a lot of, minors that fit into the nursing program very well, where you only have to take an additional one or two courses, like as electives. Um, I know that psychology, nutrition, and public health, I believe, are three that um, really kind of fit in very, very well. Um, just they have a lot of overlaps with the nursing curriculum. But with that being said, depending on how many uh, credits you bring in from high school, AP or uh, IB, that that can open up some space within your schedule. Um, I personally took a course during my co-op um, in the spring and it was just an online asynchronous course. So it was definitely, definitely manageable um, with my schedule. Obviously, you know, you're working at a hospital, so it's not like at the end of the day, you know, you like you clock out and then you don't come back till the next morning. Sometimes you do, but sometimes you work overnight. And for me, that was, working night shifts were actually very helpful in terms of getting work done because it is a little bit slower than the daytime. So I did have that time to really kind of sit down and do schoolwork while I was working. 
Um, so that was, that was a good way to be able to like kind of balance everything and also make kind of time to, 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 time to do that coursework like towards a minor that I want to pursue even though it wasn't necessarily um, completely fitting within the nursing curriculum. Great, thank you. All right, I'm gonna shift gears a little bit and talk about the beginning of the nursing program. Did all of the three of you know you wanted to be in a nursing program when you started college? Yeah, um, so I feel like that's pretty common. A lot of students do know that nursing is where they wanna be. Did any of you have any experience yourself before coming into college? You had a little bit. What did you do, Audrey? Um, I did a lot of like volunteer experience in medical stuff. I um, volunteered in an ER and also um, worked with like the Red Cross Club at my school. So that's like how I kind of became familiar with um, the medical setting and nursing. Okay. Yeah, it's great. I think a lot of students will have experiences similar to that so that they they've experienced the medical world and know they're interested in nursing, but it's definitely not required of you. Um, there's nothing, you know, when you're applying into the nursing program, they're not looking to make sure you have your EMT certification or you have um, specific skills. Can any of you talk a little bit about the clinical skills course you take um, on campus and, and what, what that's like and how that prepares you for co-op? Yeah, I can talk a little bit about that. Um, so your second year on campus, your first semester, you'll take a fundamentals, fundamental of nursing class, and you'll also take uh, an associated like sim lab with it. Um, so that way you're learning the core concepts in class, and then you're practicing the clinical aspects on the mannequins in the <laughs> practice beds and with the real stethoscopes and the real um, medical supplies. Um, but everyone will take that course your first semester of your sophomore year. And then when it comes time for co-op or clinical, um, everyone will be prepared. You'll be able, you, it's like a whole list of clinical skills that you'll be um, deemed competent on. And I think it's like uh, the vital signs, like blood pressure and all of that. Um, but the professors do a really good job of not only teaching you the content, but like um, making sure that you understand the rationale behind it, how to properly do it, what if it, something goes wrong um, and kind of just how to fix things. Great, and then another experiential um, learning opportunity our students are doing uh, as part of the nursing curriculum is clinicals. Um, Audrey, can you talk a little bit about your clinical experiences? Um, and if you can talk a little bit about the difference of the skills you're gaining between co-op and clinical, because I know they're pretty different. Yeah, so um, co-op is basically like a six month work experience where you can choose where you wanna work and like what environment, what hospital and unit. Um, but clinical is associated to one of your classes. So for example, I had um, last year, my adults medical surgical clinical and had that at Boston Medical Center so that was associated with the class and I was with a group of three students and one instructor and you're assigned to a patient, but your instructor is there to help you and you're doing um, tasks that nurses do. So you can give medications and um, things like that, that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do on co-op. Um, and, and right now I'm in co-op for pediatrics and advanced med surge at Boston Children's and Brigham and Women's. Um, and so basically the difference is that clinical is a learning experience. So you're there to learn, you're not there to work. So you're doing more like tasks that you would do um, as a nurse and uh, co-op is more, you're doing work as like a PCA or a clinical assistant, nursing assistant and, um, but you have a little more choice about where you want to be, like what unit you want to be on. Perfect. Uh, Olivia, did you have anything you wanted to add? Um, yeah, just kind of similar to what Audrey and Kelsey were both just saying is that I think a really unique part about co-op is that you are definitely working and it is your job. I, since I was in the ICU, I was a critical care technician. That was just like my 
title, but same thing as a PCA or a clinical assistant. Um, but I think an important part is, especially as a nursing student, in Mecca, that a lot, like I know personally, a lot of the nurses on my floor graduated from Northeastern and they were so more than willing to take me in and say, okay, this is this medication, this is what it does. Okay, now go give it. So even though you were definitely working and you had a role as um, like a PCA on a floor, there was also from, in my experience, absolutely a learning component where I was able to like put in Foley catheters and um, give medications and things like that. So um, there definitely are some overlaps. That's my experience. I don't, I don't know if it, other people share that, um, but I definitely think that as a student, you're also absolutely learning on co-op. Jackie, is there anything you want to add on a difference there? Um, just that, and um, Audrey had touched on it, but in clinical, you're with a group, with a faculty member kind of on the unit you know, um, learning the nursing role. So on co-op, usually um, you may be the only co-op on the unit or there might be one or two others, but because, you know, as Olivia was just saying, you're an employee, you know, um, you come in, you get your own patient assignment, critical care can be a little bit different, but, you know, um, you have a full responsibility that you do on, I mean, you're responsible for, you have a team to support you. Um, but the, I think, you know, that opportunity to, to enhance your clinical skills, and I would say that communication and interpersonal skills, because you're with patients. So on clinical, you're there one day a week, and you go the next week, one day on co-op, three twelves in a row, you're caring for a patient three days in a row, you see them get better, you see them get worse, you help their families, a lot of communication. Um, so it's, they're both fabulous learning experiences. The emphasis can be a little bit different, um, you know, in both, so. I think that's a, a great point. I know from some of the students I work with, they share with me that their confidence really increases through co-op in a way that they weren't able to get in clinical. Um, just because in clinical, you are in that group setting and you have, it's more of like the teacher student environment. So you feel a little less, um, a little less independence and ownership of what you're doing. And when you're on co-op, you're really like, you're an employee, you're working there, like this is your job and this is your role. So they said, you know, once they, and Kelsey, you might be feeling this now kind of halfway through your, your co-op feeling a lot more like confident and, you know, comfortable in your position and really able, you know, taking ownership of, of the responsibilities you have. Yeah, I'll add one thing about that. Um, I would say that Northeastern does a really good job in preparing nursing students in the clinical role to become a nursing assistant on co-op. I don't think I've ever had a problem like where I got myself um, like not suited for the job. I felt like I was always able to do what I was um, like hired to do. The hardest part of the job I would say is just communicating with families. Um, mm -hmm. And I thought that wouldn't be the case. I thought Ooh, maybe it would be like some nursing task but I feel like communication is always the hardest thing. Um, and especially in such a sensitive setting where a kid might just be diagnosed with cancer um, and just the other day, I had a kid who was 14 years old and they're asking if he can have kids one day just because of his chemotherapy. So it's kind of like, how do I approach a situation? How can I like, how can I even talk to this patient and like be sensitive and like kind as well um, and be appropriate? Um, I think that's just the hardest part. I would imagine. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't imagine absolutely that. Sounds really challenging, but I'm but glad you're developing really those good. skills. <laughs> yeah, but co-op does a really good job in um, introducing you to that. Because even in clinical, I felt like, oh, I'm nervous a little bit. And it's like one day a week you have clinical, um, but co-op really throws you into it. And I feel so much better. And I feel like um, ready to go into the world of nursing when I graduate. That's per And someone just asked, how does clinical and co-op prepare you for realities in the nursing field? So if, if that doesn't answer it, I, I think... <laughs> I think that really kind of kind of does. Um, yeah, I think students really come out of all those experiences, really understanding what what the field actually is um, and what would be expected of you. And then another thing that we didn't really talk about is you do apply for these co-op positions. So um, Jackie would help you reviewing your resume and practicing interviewing skills and um, 
that is a really important skill to have leaving college. I have to tell you, being able to put a resume together, be able to sit in an interview comfortably, talk about yourself and have it not be the first time you've done that is, is a huge bonus. So I know students coming out of the nursing program, not only are you incredibly well-connected and have great references, but you also know how to do an interview successfully, which is a, a really important skill. Um, there were some questions about the um, like admissions end. So I'm just gonna answer those quickly before diving into some other questions. There's about a hundred students every year in the nursing program. It kind of fluctuates a little bit. The way admissions at Northeastern's nursing program works is a little bit different than um, some other nursing programs you might be looking at. There's not a separate application into the nursing program. So you do select nursing on the common application, but you are admitted to the university and then into the nursing program. So the admission standards um, and acceptance rates and things like that are not very dissimilar from nursing to other programs inside the university. Um, however, if you know that you are interested in being a nursing student, I definitely recommend selecting that on the Common App. Um, it doesn't put you at a disadvantage or an advantage. It just puts you in the correct, you know, program when you're starting, you're going to have the correct advisor, you'll be in the correct college, you're just going to be starting in the correct location. Um, if you are 51% sure that you are interested in nursing, I say start in nursing. It's much easier to start and then change your major out of nursing if you find that you know, you actually want to be a PA or you actually want to be an art student or whatever it is. Um, it's much easier to start in nursing and then leave versus start in another program and come in um, because of the different um, course requirements and things like that. If you do have questions about um, if this is the best fit for you or if you have questions about the courses and things like that, I can definitely have that conversation with anybody um, interested. All right, so those are some of those questions. Um, does anyone else want to talk a little bit about the sim lab? There are some questions about what the experience is in, in there. Like I did drop a link to um, the sim lab website and there's some cool videos in there. Um, our sim center is pretty state of the art. We have four bays that can be set up to um, mimic different situations. It is very cool. Um, so if any of the students want to talk a little bit about their experiences in the sim lab and what that's like, that'd be great. Yeah, so I know as a freshman student in your intro to nursing class, you're required to do one sim lab. It's ungraded. It's just for you to um, be exposed to it. So I think I'm actually sending uh, my Bouvet students in a few weeks, right, Jackie, to the sim lab. Um, and it's really cool. It gets in the basement of our health sciences center, and it feels like you're in an actual hospital room. Um, in my simulation, my freshman year, I believe, yeah, we had like an actual live actor in the bed. And I think I was assigned to the role of the nurse because um, we had like a doctor, a nurse, a pharmacist, and maybe a social worker too. And we had to work with other students um, and communicate and communicate with the patient about the case and like how to best proceed. So it's basically just throwing you into the thick of it um, and kind of relying on those critical thinking skills um, and kind of just exposing you into what a clinical situation might be. Um, again, totally uh, not graded, um, but just for you to gain exposure. And then those mannequins that we have, you'll um, those are on the upper floors of the Baracus Health Science Center. Um, and those are your labs associated with like your fundamentals class or your advanced interventions. And you'll typically be in there one day a week. Um, in the fundamentals class, it's like practicing vital signs, um, like how to change a bed. And like, you think that's like really simple, but <laughs> with total care patients, that can be really complicated, um, how to safely handle patients and stuff like that. And then in your advanced interventions class, it's um, like how to dress a wound, how to pack a wound, um, how to insert a catheter, how to um, take care of a trach, how to do like a tracheostomy, like a tube in the throat um, and a bunch of different things. So it's, it's really cool. Um, Olivia, can you talk a little bit about your relationship um, with students in the program and with faculty? I know um, Northeastern can be a really large place, but Bouvet is a little bit smaller. Um, so do you know the students inside your program really well? Do you get to know faculty well? How does that work? Yeah, of course. Um, this is actually something that I was talking to um, the freshmen in my uh, first year uh, intro to nursing course, um, say I'm a Bouvet fellow, 
I was talking to them about this last week because they're a little overwhelmed with like, I just got to college. I'm thrown into all these chemistry anatomy. Like, how do I approach this? And I said that my biggest resource um, has been my peers. So studying and not staying calm and um, not getting too overwhelmed. And my, my peers have definitely been my biggest resource. And the nursing program is special because it is small. And um, because now we're, once you start co-op, it kind of, your cohort cuts in half because half the people are, are taking co-op, the other half are taking classes. So in my personal experience, like right now, like I will, I'll go to class with say 35 kids or however many. And then at the end of class, we all get up and we like migrate to the next classroom. We all sit back down and like, it's the same faces, the same people. And like, you really get to know everybody. Um, and then those relationships are enhanced even more when you go to clinical, because then you're spending an additional 12 hours in the summer, six hours in a regular semester um, in clinical with these people or even on co-op. Like I was on co-op with um, two other nursing students and I became good friends with them. And um, they were older than me, so they were able to be like, oh, okay, you're taking women and families. Oh, okay, like make sure you study this, this, and this, and you want to approach it this way and this way. Um, so definitely my peers that are like my fellow students have been very, very, very helpful, but also even the nursing professors are so willing to kind of go out of their way to make sure that you understand the material and you feel comfortable and kind of competent within the skills because I think a common theme that I keep hearing my professors say, granted my professors, professors are um, all nurses for the most part. Um, they always say that like, they're not teaching us how to be average nurses that are gonna pass the NCLEX because NCLEX is the, the nursing licensure exam. Um, that's like the bare minimum of like, when you pass it, you're a nurse. They say, we're not gonna teach you how to pass the NCLEX. We're gonna teach you how to be a great nurse. Mm. And I think that that's something that really has is it like a theme throughout the program is they really, really go out of their way to make sure that you understand and you're comfortable and kind of creating that community within the classroom that you feel comfortable to be able to raise your hand and say, I'm so sorry, I really don't understand that. Can you explain it again? Or to meet with you outside of class in office hours or um, kind of work around your schedule if you are working. Um, so I think that the program is so special because it is small and you do have those resources and those people that really want to see you succeed. That's great. And the NCLEX, I, we didn't even think about talking about that, but uh, I don't know the last statistic, but I know our pass rate tends to be very high um, annually. I think it's really a tribute to the program and what you were saying, Olivia, that um, they're not teaching to the exam and teaching to have students pass the exam. So they're, they're teaching above and beyond that. Um, so I know, I mean, I, Audrey, I don't know if you're thinking about the exam yet um, as a, a fourth year student, but I know it's just something that our students are just really prepared for. And, and you know, you're, it's, it should be a, should be a, um, a non-stressor because you, you have the skills you need. Um, so we have a few minutes left. So I just want to, um, again, reiterate, please reach out if you do have any questions. Um, and I'd love to wrap up with a final question. Um, for the students and Jackie, I'll ask you something different because this won't, <laughs> unless you want to answer the same question. Um, but I'd love to hear what your favorite experience in the nursing program has been so far or something you're really looking forward to experiencing that isn't co-op because I know that tends to be the, the first go-to. Um, it could be something that you never thought you'd be able to experience in college, something really unique, um, something really different. So I don't know who wants to start. Give you a second to think about it. Audrey's ready to go. <laughs> I can start, yeah. Um, I think one thing that I like didn't really expect coming in, um, and Olivia definitely talked a lot about this, but um, like being able to become so um, such a community like within the nursing classes and stuff. Like for example, I live with um, three other nursing students right now and it's like just always the highlight of my day being able to go to classes with them and just after co-op like coming home and like talking about like oh my gosh all the cool stuff that we get to do and um I just feel like Northeastern offers 
such good resources for nursing students um, that you really feel like you're so immersed and like um, it just makes you so excited um, to graduate and like although I'm really sad about being a senior and I don't want to leave yet um, I'm like beyond excited to like become an actual nurse and I feel like Northeastern has only enhanced that. Olivia, are you ready? Yeah, um, I think that I'm really looking forward to the remainder of my clinicals. Um, so like I said, I did my, um, my co-op in the ICU. So that was kind of, that, that was like, I guess, I guess like one type of nursing that you'd see, but then I followed that right up with going right into maternity on a postpartum unit um, and labor and delivery, which is so incredibly different than the cardiac Thank you. Um, so I guess kind of being able to see the different shapes that nursing can have, I guess, or the different, I guess, routes that you can go. Currently, I'm on my medical surgical um, clinical at uh, oh, Brigham and Women's Hospital. And I'm, that's just a med surge floor, which is, again, different than those other two places I've been. So I think I'm just really looking forward to seeing um, I guess like my other clinicals were to see different types of nursing because they're also different. And um, I guess kind of, you know, it's, it's just as important to find out what you don't like as it is to find out what you do like. Um, I thought I would love labor and delivery. It's not for me and that's, and that's important to know. And I would have known that if I hadn't done clinical there. So um, I, I'm just looking forward to pediatrics and public health and kind of seeing what I like, what I don't like, and where I want to be when I graduate. That is, that is very wise advice. <laughs> uh, Kelsey. Yeah, I would say the opportunities that Northeastern has both in the classroom and on co-op. Um, I never really knew that nursing research was a thing. Um, and I kind of got involved in it over the summer with the Northeastern PhD director. Um, and we were supposed to be doing it this semester, but I co-op just got way too busy. So I deferred it until next semester where we're gonna be working on like taking a closer look at um, service animals and specifically in like pediatric oncology patients. Um, so that's like super exciting, like in the classroom, I didn't know that I could be involved in research as a nursing student. Um, and then even in the clinical experience, some people might downplay uh, as an, like a nursing aide, like, oh, you're just a nursing aide, but you're really on the front lines. I've called rapid responses. I've called codes. Um, you're the first person who sees the patient. Patient, You're taking the vital signs. I've noticed my patient's blood pressure tanking before. Um, and then that, that's when you have to call a code. Um, so it's really amazing, like the opportunities that you have as a nursing student at Northeastern. Um, I've been in the operating room. I've seen a baby being born, like their first child. Like, it's just like the whole spectrum of opportunities that you have is just absolutely incredible. Um, and yeah, I can't recommend Northeastern enough. That's great. I think you may be a, a future candidate for the um, DNP program. They're trying to <laughs> recruit me. <laughs> I, I don't know what I want to do. Well, you have time. <laughs> Maybe we'll keep you for a few years. Um, Jackie, to uh, close up the session, can you just share um, something you think is really unique and special about um, the students we have at, at Northeastern, why students should be considering Northeastern when they're applying to colleges? Well, I'm not sure what I can say beyond what these three have already said. I think um, they represent this, the nursing students at Northeastern. Um, very compassionate students extremely hardworking, good organizational skills. So, you know, balancing academics, working on co-op, many of them continue to work past co-op on per diem. Um, and just, um, I, you know, I, and very resilient, you know, this is, um, you know, the nursing major in career is so important, as you've heard, and it starts when you're a student, um, the responsibility is high. So, um, you know, sometimes they can't do things that maybe other students are doing at a particular night because they have a 7 a.m. shift or they just get off a 12 hour shift. Um, but they are just really, it's really fun to see the growth over 
the time that they're all at Northeastern. I meet many of them freshman year, not all. Um, and everybody hits bumps in the road and we get through them. And um, it's just amazing to see how they change over the course of four and five years through all the experiences that you all have just heard about. So I've been here 27 years and that probably speaks volumes, you know, in terms of what a great place it is to be. Great yeah. students. That's great. Thank you so much. And thank you all so much for your time and sharing your experiences. And we hope to see you on campus next year. Thank you all so much.